Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to my bathroom. Excuse the hair, it hasn't really been brushed yet. Definitely a dry shampoo day again today. I'm trying to wash my hair less because I feel like it's better for it when I do that. Then I have days like this where my hair is just all over the place. I thought I'd share with you guys my morning skincare routine. Some products I used before and some new ones. I've started recently doing a different morning routine than my nighttime routine because the things I need right I'm about to go out into the world and into the sunshine and into the beautiful, dirty New York City filled with smog. I love li living in New York City, but it's very, very bad on your skin. Are different things that I need before I'm about to go to sleep with a fan on. So I cannot sleep without a fan on, and I know that's really bad, dries out my skin. So that's a little bit different than my morning routine. But here we are, it's the morning. About to show you guys what's up. Don't judge me. Sometimes I just don't want tea or coffee, and I just want the carbonation of a Diet Coke. Really don't drink it very often, just some mornings. This is what I want. When I wake up in the morning, I see nothing for miles and miles and miles. I remember when I was obsessed with that song. So I splash my face with cold water, kind of helps wake me up a little bit, and then I wash with my from Eminescence. I think that's how you pronounce it. Eminescence. Cooper, I'm in here, buddy. He does this. He's such a drama queen. Like he only wants my attention when I'm filming videos. He has to have his moment. Anyway, it's the Mango Steam Daily Resurfacing Cleanser from Eminescence. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to film this video, but I actually ran out of the bottle. I just got the new one in yesterday. By the way, this video is not sponsored at all, but if you ever want to sponsor, holla at your girl, because you know I like making my money, if it's a product I already use and like. I just got distracted reading the directions, and I realized I've never read the directions of a cleanser in my life. Mix a small amount of product in water with hands. Massage gently with fingertips in a circular motion, covering face and neck areas. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. Ooh, circular motion. I don't... I usually am just like, let me start doing the circular. I actually uh, pat my skin dry, I don't use a towel, and I swear to you, I've said this in skincare videos before, it has helped so much with my acne. I don't know why, even if it's a clean towel, it still just is so much better for my skin, I feel like if I just don't use a towel at all and just pat dry. I said this in my hair care video, but I swear, skincare and hair care products smell so much better to me than perfume. I think I just like the clean smell. It's now time for oils. You guys know I love rosehip oil and I've been using this one from Trilogy. It's certified organic rosehip oil. I also love rosehip oil from The Ordinary as well. It's my, like my one product of skincare I'm obsessed with. Um, there's several brands that carry it. I know even like local pharmacies and drugstores will have their own brand. It has helped so much with acne prevention, acne scarring, dry skin, and even Cooper scratches, which I get a lot on my hands because he won't let me trim his nails and I'm too afraid to try again. My skin is a little blotchy right now. It's been misbehaving the past couple days. It's that time of year my skin just is like, oh, what's going on this weather, man? Excuse the blotchiness, but I want to be real with you guys, show you. It's not always Instagram filter perfect. Another oil that I again ran out of and just got a new one from again that brand Eminescence is this facial recovery oil. And oh my god, this stuff is amazing. It smells good, it's so good for moisturizing, and it's really good for when you put on makeup afterwards. It won't get cakey even when it's super dry in the winter. It's going to stay looking like a dewy goddess. Oh my gosh, my nose is so red. It always is whenever I do this. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. Oh my god, it feels like butter. Next, I'm going to use from that same brand, Eminence, the Mangosteen Daily Resurfacing Concentrate. So this is like a little serum. Again, not sponsored, just really, really like this brand. It is on the more pricier side of products that I've showed you guys, but part of my job is my skin, so it's an investment I see for work. Gently resurface and refine skin to unveil a natural, luminous glow. Featuring lactic acid, advanced pore minimizing actives. That's one I always look for because I feel like I'll do the blackhead strips and then it still looks like I have blackheads and I just have big pores on like my nose and this area. By the way, I forgot to mention, um, some mornings if I have more time, I'll use my Banish Pumpkin Mask. It's really great for exfoliating and just giving a good fresh start to the skin. So I definitely recommend that as like a morning mask. Next, I'm going to put on a primer. Now I have two types of primers that I use and love. The first is Baby Skin by Maybelline. I usually use this one more so when I'm putting on makeup afterwards. 
And when they say baby skin, it really is like the most gorgeous texture on your face. My other one is Neutrogena's Healthy Skin Primer. And what I love about this one is it kind of has, well, one thing. I mean, it's kind of annoying that it comes in this shade, like this shade, because not everyone has this, I'm almost out of it, of course, this skin tone, because it's like a very fair shade. I feel like if they're going to go with making it have color, they should have more inclusive colors. But for me, like, it kind of is similar to my skin tone, so it works. And I'll put this on when I just am not going to wear any foundation. And don't get me wrong, like it's not a BB cream. It's not going to like cover up anything. But what I love about this is it has SPF in it, which is so important to wear SPF always. That's the number one cause of aging. Also, you want to prevent your skin from sun damage, skin cancer. So I love that this primer has that sunscreen in it. And the best thing about all these products is they are non-com... Condigent... What's it called? non com -tugenic. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I'll just make a fool of myself. But basically what it means is they won't clog your pores. I will do this and then go to the gym and sweat and not have like a million zits. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Hasn't happened yet. And on days when it's super sunny or when I don't use the primer that has the SPF in it. Sorry, the itch right there. I will use, I use from Elta MD this broad spectrum sunscreen. It's SPF 46 and it's also one that calms and protects acne prone skin, which ya girl has for show. Also forgot to mention if I'm feeling super lazy or I hit snooze like many times and I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I have literally two minutes to be out the door. And I don't have time to wash my face. I will just use these Yes to clear skin. It's just a toxifying charcoal wipes. Finally, before I'm out the door, I do one last spritz of my Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray with Aloe. Don't know how much this actually does, but I just love the feeling of it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know my skin isn't clear and picture perfect. So if you're watching this video and you're like, why should I listen to this chick? She's got a splotch there and a zit there and her skin's not perfect. Well, I wanted to share with you guys on a day when my skin wasn't perfect because no one has perfect skin every day. But like I've said in skincare videos before, everyone has different skincare types. What works for one person might not work for another. Everyone has a very specific and beautiful, unique skin tone and texture. I have a cat hair, somehow got on my chin. Even my sister and I have completely different skin types and routines and I'll say, oh my god, I love this product and then it makes her break out or she'll give me a face mask and then the next day I'm like, you did this on purpose to give me zits all over my forehead so you would look better in the family picture and she's like, maybe I did. Just kidding. I don't think she's that diabolical. Anyways, all I'm saying, if you're watching this skincare video or another YouTuber skincare video, I've done it before where you rushed to the cart and you're like, I need this, I need this, I need this. Just think twice, do some research, find out what kind of skin type you have. And if you can't afford to go to a dermatologist to do this, I mean, I don't even go to a dermatologist anymore. Honestly, a lot of it was just trial and error. And I found the products I found myself instead of the ones the dermatologist had gave me work better for me. But there's tons of online skincare quizzes. If you know of any, please link them below in the comments. Let's help each other out. So once you find your skin type and learn what you're sensitive to, then you can really start to build a skincare routine that's unique for you. So I'm going to go get the rest of my day rocking and rolling and Diet Coke or Cola. Not sponsored, but hey Diet Coke, you know where to find me. Also, I realized the irony of drinking soda in a video about healthy skincare when I should be drinking water because that's what's good for your skin. Although, I see this on Twitter all the time, people like will tweet a picture of like a gallons of water and be like, my skincare routine or my secret to clear skin. And that's so annoying because while drinking a lot of water really does help your skin and I've noticed it myself when I drink more water, my skin's usually better, more hydrated. It's not the end all be all. Like I said, skincare is very much genetics and stress plays into it, hormones, living conditions, environmental conditions and all that jazz. The next time someone with clear skin who says that they only drink water, they probably just have really been blessed by God above with clear skin. That's their thing. So good for them. 
I mean, I also know people who wash their face with little dial body soap and have clear skin. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the flip side.